Hi friends, um, today we're going to be talking about two forces that are very important for our daily life. We're going to be talking about something that has to do with filing metal iron and magnets. Yes, we are going to be talking about magnetic forces. Yay! This is a big magnet, a strong magnet. I have some things here. And like you can see, this is the north pole of the magnet and this is the south. Magnets that they has Oop. same magnetic pole they repel each other even though I can try and this is hard okay no matter what happened how big or how small this is we know that objects that they are different magnetic poles they attract each other oh that's it this is the Aha, uh -huh, this is the north. That means this is the south. Okay, what happens if I try to put north and north together? They don't match each other. Okay, but what happened with a compass, a brújula? Okay, the needle also is a magnet. Okay, what happened if I have right here the north and I'm going to place the north right here? Okay, see what happened? Okay, what happened if now I change this right here? Ah, what happened if I move this? The needle became kind of crazy, right? Okay, now here, now here, now here. Okay, now I'm going to place this one. Do you remember what it is? So I'm going to be looking for, yes, and then now I'm going to do this. And no mistake, all the time happen exactly the same. If you remember when we were talking in the video, that always, okay, no matter what, we're look, we're going to be looking for the north. That mean the north. If this is the north, so what is in this direction? It's a big magnet. What magnet is pulling this north? Okay, well. Is the big magnet that everybody knows there, but we cannot see that. And that is the North Pole. Aha, uh -huh. but this is North, North, and this is North. Does that make sense, right? Okay, we call the North Pole, okay, because that is our geographically North Pole. But really, the North Pole, pole is the magnetic South Pole. Okay. Hmm, okay, that's mean if that is the North Pole, this is the South, so the panel one is the North Pole. Yes, the magnetic one. So, magnetic geographically. Yes, North Pole, the one that we know up, that is the North Pole geographically. Geo, like the map, right? But magnetic is the south because this is being attracted by the, the north is attracting the south magnetic and the south is attracting the north magnetic. Okay, I hope this is clear because on the, your homeworks, when uh, I was reading those answers, I didn't see that those answers were clear please if you have question on this let me know okay okay today also we're going to be talking about electric forces electric forces in this battery we have a potential of electric forces hmm potential do you remember the word word potential energy energy that's storage and it's going to be released from a high potential energy down okay so you move from a top high to 
down and that energy is converted to kinetic, right? Kinematic. Here is exactly the same principle, but the electron move from a point of high potential electric to a low potential electric. So if I connect this metal to the negative, what is going to happen? Okay, negative has electron uh, particles or charges, and these can let the electron run and be free, conduct electricity. So this is rich in electrons. Electron and electron, like the magnetic force, forces, two positive, they don't like each other. Okay, two opposite, they like each other. So right here we have a lot of electrons, and right here we have electrons too. So electron and electron, they repel each other. Huh? And where are they looking for? They are going to be running, looking for the positive. And this, my friends, is electric current. It's a flow of electrons moving from the negative to the positive and doing the cycle. Now, talk about, I want to put this together, electricity and magnetism. Hmm, electromagnetic wave. But Electromagnetic waves, they travel at the speed of the light, and they travel at 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second. Or 3 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros. That is the speed of electrical, electromagnetic waves in the vacuum. But now I want to show you something that we've been talking on the review and I noticed that it's not so clear. Okay, if I let this wire that is here, let the electron flow, this is going to become, if you remember, electron moving create a magnet. Uh, just a little bit, not too much. But do you remember what can we do to make this, this electromagnet strong? We are going to put inside a nail, iron nail. And then now I am going to connect this and see what happens. If this is a magnet and I want to show you right here. Okay, I'm going to have this. And then we are going to, yes, pick up several of them. Okay. And we are going to see on the other side if that works. Yes, that works. So this is a magnet. I want to see what happens if I remove the battery. See. Ooh, lose the power. Okay, it's not a magnet anymore. We'll see it's a steel. I have one of the stapler right here. I don't know if you can see here. So I'm going to try to pick it up that and it's still. Okay, it's still a magnet. What if I am going to hit this on this metal? And you cannot see. And then I'm going to try to pick it up. I just have two of them. Nope, doesn't work. So this was a electromagnet. Electric current was moving from here in this direction. Oh, electric current was moving here and it started going in this direction. So this is my right hand now. Okay, electric current was here and wrapping around, my finger are wrapping around and this finger is going to be the North Pole. See what happened now if I have another electromagnet, uh, another coil right here and I'm going to be using this. And then we are going to see what happens. What is the difference between this electromagnet and this electromagnet? Okay, can you see the difference? Okay, we are going to see if this has exactly the same behavior. Uh, this is a little bit short, so I don't know if we're going to have any trouble with this, but I'm going to try to do the same thing. Okay, let's see. Right here, and voila, we have exactly the same effect. I'm going to, see, I'm going to remove again. I cannot do it from there. Yes, I can. Okay. 
and then see what happened. Oops, ooh, still. I'm going to try to pick up them again. Okay, still with a little bit, but not too much. Okay, if I hit this or I put temperature, I increase the temperature, the domain, those ions, those electrons, those three extra electrons per atom are going to start getting crazy and they are going to lose the property of magnet. When we put the electric current right here, so all these magnets, okay, all these um, small magnets inside of these, they are going to make a line and all these are going to be looking for to the north, all of them, and then that is why we did this. But I have another one right here. If you see, I want to compare with this one too. I'm going to put this and we are going to see what happened. Okay. What do you think is what is going to happen? It's going to pick up more or less or the same. Okay, here, and I'm going to have all these magnets right here. Okay, see. Oh, this is getting hot. Oops, nope. Two. Mm mm. No, barely three. Two, three, three. So, what was the difference? Okay, can you see how many coils, how many? rings are here and compare right here so i hope you have a clear what is a electromagnet can you explain that in your own words okay what do we need to have a to make an electromagnet well we need a iron nail we need a copper wire we need to make a lot of loops okay and then connect the ends on the battery Okay, to make the electro flow or electron current. Remember, no matter what, in a wire, the electrons are moving, and on a wire that there is always an electric current, always, always, no matter what, the electrons are moving here, then the, this wire is going to produce a magnetic field. It's going to be perpendicular current right here, perpendicular right here, the magnetic field. No matter what, electron moving, a inst instantly, uh, instantaneously magnetic field is created. And then if you can demonstrate and explain this to your little brother or your grandpa or your mother, please make a video on your cell phone, send it to me, and you're going to see points because this, if you explain this correctly, then you got a extra point on test grade. You got five extra points on a test grade. Okay, if you um, do the video, but you still don't have clear the concept, that is okay because I can give you feedback, then you can learn anyway. My goal is your learning, your goal is your grade. I hope you understand this. Always electricity is tied to magnetism. Okay, so electron moving produce a magnetic field. Later, we are going to be talking about how we use those. Do you have an idea? Hmm, how that work, how the car motor work. Electricity and magnetism. Mm -hmm. The blender has a wire, something like this in the middle in the motor. So, I invite you to go and research, ask questions, think. Have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.